Hello everyone. Today we're going to discuss Benak Tarasky uh, paradox, and uh, which is a continuation of uh, another subject we started with. With that, I'll uh, leave the subject to my grandson Tristan. All right. Thank you. So, on our last video about the Banach Tarski paradox, we established the terms countable and uncountable infinity, and we explained what those terms mean. So, now that we've explained those terms, we're able to get into the actual paradox itself. So, for, for our example, we're just going to use like a sphere. And now, in order to achieve this paradox, we're going to have to use a starting point. And basically, from this starting point, we can we're going to have to go in directions and establish points from those directional sequences. So the directions we're going to be using, we're going to be using the simple directions up, down, left, right, and, you know, just, just that, just those directions. The, the four corners, basically, uh, north, south, uh, west, east. Yeah, exactly. Okay. So we're going to just be using those simple directions to create sequences uh, to go from the starting point and establish new points. Uh, in the sphere. So I, I have to mention this real quick. Since our goal here is to achieve, is to, you know, establish unique points and get in as much points as possible, backtracking isn't going to be allowed in our example. So that means we can't have a sequence that says right, left, or left, right, or anything like that. And that also means that no repeats of sequences are going to be allowed. So basically, um, if, if we use um, this example and we, if we use this method, then you can imagine that we're going to be able to get a countably infinite number of sequences, right? For an accountably infinite uh, number of points to go in our uh, sphere example. But there's kind of a problem that goes along with that because, uh, as you can remember, um, spheres, they, they have an countably infinite amount of points in them, right? Because as I discussed earlier, you know, um, uh, countably infinite, that would include all real numbers. And of course, we, you know, sphere, spheres contain real numbers. So we're just working with countably infinite points here. So that would just be like whole numbers, for example. So our use of a method that would just contain a countably infinite number of points and a countably infinite number of um, directions and stuff like that, that's not going to work to fill in all possible unique points. Now, in the next video, we'll discuss how to overcome this problem and we'll continue talking about the paradox. Thank you for watching.